500 Ukrainian refugees are camping out in Mexico City while still waiting for the U.S. government to grant them entry into the country. Jane Robles will tell us why live. Yes, Jane, go ahead. Marielle, the established camp in Mexico under the program Uniting for Ukraine has only been open for a week and it sees around 50 to 100 people arriving every day. Some of the refugees have already reached the U.S. border in Tijuana, but were told that they would no longer be admitted. Anastasia Polo, co-founder of United with Ukraine, a non-governmental organization, said they are asking for the U.S. government to expedite the process. While U.S. government officials told Ms. Polo that it should take a week to process people, she has not heard of sponsors being approved yet. To qualify for the program, Ukrainians would have to apply from Europe or other countries like Mexico. They must have been in Ukraine as of February 11 and have a sponsor among other requirements. Meanwhile, nearly 5.5 million Ukrainians, mostly women and children, fled Ukraine since February 24, according to the UN High Commissioner Refugees. Mariel? Jane, and what is the condition of the camp where the Ukrainian refugees are situated? Marielle, Ms. Paolo described the camp as a safe place to wait, but the refugees were warned that no one is responsible for their safety if they leave the complex. Security is provided by the Mexican government and meals through a mobile kitchen are being provided by the Navy. But they are also asking the government for a possibility of moving the camp to a safer area. Back to you, Marielle. Thank you, Jane Robles, reporting live.